Uh, Mr. Lincecum, on February 24th of this year, Russia invaded Ukraine. Now, I believe that war was entirely avoidable and could have been avoided had President Biden not waived sanctions on the Nord Stream 2 pipeline. And indeed, in January of this year, I forced a vote on the Senate floor to impose those sanctions. At the time, President Zelensky begged the United States Senate to stand with Ukraine, impose those sanctions, and said it was the only thing that would stop Putin from invading Ukraine. Unfortunately, 44 Senate Democrats voted with President Biden against sanctioning Russia, against sanctioning Putin, and that was, I believe, the immediate precipitating cause of the war in Ukraine. Now, you're not here testifying about that war. But the FDA said that the invasion caused, quote, additional uncertainty in the infant formula supply chain as Ukraine is a major exporter of sunflower oil, an ingredient used in many infant formulas. In your judgment, should the administration have been aware of and on alert to the supply chain challenges and the threat of a formula shortage caused by the fact that one of the ingredients in formula was at a risk of shortage itself. Thank you, Senator. Um, <clears throat> I can certainly speak to the first point. Uh, there have been signs uh, in starting in last year, starting last year and even in January, um, that there were problems in the infant formula market. So I certainly think that the administration should have been aware of potential supply chain issues arising uh, in the infant formula market and potentially exacerbated by the conflict. Um, be, on the sunflower issue, though, I'm going to have to defer. I, I, I just don't know the extent to which that was a major issue prior to uh, Russia's invasion. Um, I would note, however, that, again, in normal markets, supply and demand can adjust relatively quickly. Unfortunately, in the U.S. infant formula market, we do not have fu normally functioning supply and demand due to these government distortions. And I haven't even gotten into the upstream input distortions that U.S. dairy policy, uh, milk pricing programs, and other protectionism you, uh, uh, cause and compound that pr the problems in, in the market. So certainly I think that the administration uh, should have been aware of the overall issue, but the, the sunflower issue, I, I'll, I, I'm not sure. Thank you. Okay, very good. Uh, next up, the patient, uh, Senator Booker. <laughs> Uh, thank you for your leadership in this area. In the medical context, I'm not sure if I want to be the patient, but um, <laughs> but thank you very thank you very much, <laughs> thank you very much. Um, I'm grateful for this hearing. I'm grateful for the ranker and the uh, uh, and the chairwoman uh, for hosting it. Um, I, I just want to talk really quick about the the role 